Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here. Thanks for watching, guys. So first off, in reaction to my last video where I asked... <laughs> hang on a second, you'll see what I'm talking about. Sit down. When I asked what you guys wanted to see in my last video, a lot of you wanted to see my dogs. Um, hey, sit down. So this is Maya, and that's Lainey. Um, anytime I'm shooting a video, they are right at my heels. You just can't see them. They're boxer mixes, and they're both uh, from rescues. They're five and seven. We got them when they were puppies, and they were pretty badly abused. So uh, they live the life of spoils now, and they like staring at the fish tanks, and they like following me around anywhere that I go. I've never been in a room in this house in the last five years where there hasn't been a dog following me. So those are my helpers. So here is, well actually before I get into this, I did want to say I apologize for not getting as many videos as I, out lately as I have been. I've only done two in the last two or three weeks. And the reason for that is uh, my wife has had some health problems. I've been working 12 to 16 hours a day. And you know, life just gets in the way. You guys know how it goes. So um, unfortunately my videos had to take a back seat for a bit. But moving on to fish topics. The Rotosai Yellow group, this wild caught group here, um, this is probably going to be the last time you guys ever see them here, unfortunately. Uh, they're breeding very well, you know, wild caught, super high quality, but I need the tank for something else that I like better. Uh, the place I'm selling these to, it's a friend of mine with a bigger tank. He's going to have a, you know, a 180 for them to breed in, so it's not like they're going to go to a small tank or anything. Nevertheless, I will be disappointed to see them go. I just didn't have any room to put them for what I have hopefully coming in um, in the next few weeks. So say your goodbyes. <laughs> but the main part of this video is also discussing the last video I put up where I asked people what they wanted to see. A lot of people mentioned in the comments or emailed or uh, private messaged me on Instagram that they wanted to see more of uh, the younger fish, the fry, the juveniles that I've had growing up in the garage fish room. And I guess I didn't realize, but I never show them that much. So uh, I'll show them today, update you guys on them. I'm not currently shipping, so these aren't currently for sale via shipping. I sell these locally, but maybe in the near future I'll be shipping, so just keep that in mind. So let's go check out uh, the tanks in the garage. So we'll go from smallest to largest as far as uh, fry and juveniles. Here is about 60 F1 Buchochromus rhodosai yellow and they're in a 40 gallon. And for people who have asked, why don't you put fry in bigger tanks to start off with as opposed to a 10 or a 20 gallon? This is the reason why. This is a 40 gallon breeder here. And you can see there's just food and mess everywhere. And the reason for that is when the fish are this small, and these fish are not even a half inch probably, if you put them in a 40 gallon breeder or something like that or something larger, it's really difficult for them to find the food so you've just got to pour in, you know, an extra amount of food so they can, you know, find it, eat it, and grow. So when they're really young, you end up with a tank that looks like this, just a mess. Um, you know, it's not a bad thing for the fish, it's just you do have to overfeed. I mean, look at the, look at the grossness on that sponge filter. So again, this is the, you know, F1 Rotosai Yellow Fry. They'll do really well in here. I anticipate I can grow them up in this 40 gallon breeder until about two and a half inches. Then it's going to get a little bit crowded. So on to the next tank. Here are Mylochromus spilostitius and this is a 10 gallon. This is a side view. These guys are probably, I don't know, a half inch, a little bit bigger than that. A few weeks out of the tumblers. They're doing very well. There's probably 50 in here. Uh, they're growing very fast. I keep the temperature nice and warm in my fry tanks, roughly 81 degrees. I feel like it helps them grow a bit. I don't have any proof of that, but I've noticed if I keep my temperatures above 80, like 80, 81, they grow quicker than if I would have it at, you know, say 78, 79. These guys are doing very well. They'll be in this 10 gallon until maybe they're three quarters of an inch, and then I'll move them into a 20 long or something. On to the next tank. More F1 Buchochromus rhodosai yellow. I apologize, this tank is gross as far as algae, so even though the water parameters are really, really good, uh, the tank just looks nasty. But it's just a bit of a buildup on the glass itself. 
Again, this is a 20 long. There's probably, I think there's 45 in here if I counted correctly when I added them. There again, uh, close to three quarters of an inch, maybe a little bit smaller, pretty young. And they'll be able to stay in here until they're about an inch and a half, maybe. Before I have to figure out something to do with them. Either sell them or trade them or whatever. Alright, two more tanks to go and the fish are going to get a little bit bigger as we go. Here is a 20 tall, full of about 50 Mylochromus spillosticious. They do really well in here. Uh, these guys are probably almost an inch, darn near. If, they, if they're not an inch, they're really, really close. So they'll actually probably be exported out of here and sold in the next, I don't know, two weeks maybe, something like that. I'm doing a lot of water changes, and I'm doing uh, three to four feedings a day to keep these guys growing uh, as fast as they can naturally without, you know, causing any sort of problems as far as overfeeding or bloat or anything like that. These mylochromus are producing uh, really well for me. Let's see if we can get a little close up here. And on to the last tank and the biggest uh, young fish that I have. This is a 40 gallon breeder with mylochromus spillosticious again. There are 45 in here and they are pretty close to two inches. You can see they school together, and um, man, they really like to eat. <laughs> they're at that stage where they're in like feeding frenzy mode. Get a little closer. These guys will not be here much longer as they've almost filled up the tank as much as they can before it starts causing problems with either, you know, water quality or or them just turning out to start fighting. Anyway, uh, let's feed them real quick. I think you guys will like seeing that. All right, it's feeding time. These guys like uh, North Fin one millimeter and they like it a lot. You'll see here very, very shortly. Here we go. It won't last very long. Anyway guys, you'll notice I did not show you the 125 in the garage. I've got something going with that that I'm not ready to show you yet, but that's coming really soon. I think you'll enjoy. Um, I appreciate you hanging in there with me. I know I haven't been around a lot lately, but uh, you know you know how it goes. So anyway guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I am on Instagram at Adam C. Solo. Uh, my email, if you guys want to know anything or talk about anything, is in the description of the video. And I'll see you guys next time.